Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to mix Tinkercad and a little math. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So, as usual, let's start with create new design. I want you to bring out a cube. I want you to hold down shift and shrink it a little, and then I want you to type the number 2 in the box. So, on every side, it is measured 2. Click the fit view so we can zoom in and see that cute little two centimeter cube. Now, if I take that little fella and do control D and tap it over, right now we've got two times one row. If we take this and do control D and use the arrow keys, now we've got two times two, which is four. So these are kind of like centimeter cubes. And I wanted you to see how quickly we could model math. If I take two more and do control D, now you just made the problem two times three instantly. What I also like about this is if we grab them all, control D, and we move them over and rotate them, you can instantly see that three times two is also the same number six. So it's just a really cool way to model math. All right, friends, so we've practiced multiplication. I want you to name this one root, and I'm going to show you why right now. Take one of those pieces and do Control D. Use your arrow key to nudge it to a corner. I want you to click on its measurements, and I want you to make it 4 and press Enter, and I want you to make it 4 and press Enter. Nudge it up to that corner, but I want you to keep the height at 2. So if you look at this shape from the top, and we'll use fit view to line it up, friends, what shape is that? Hopefully you remember, it is a square. I'm going to make it blue, and I'm going to make it transparent. And then I'm going to grab one of these little cubes, do control D again, and let's fill it up. If you do control D, you'll have to nudge it into the right spot. But how many of these little cubes fit in here? I'm going to hide this for just one moment, grab those two, do my control D, nudge it over two clicks, turn on my light bulb, and friends, you just solved the square root of four. You can see this is a square, and it is solved by the math problem two times two. So that's kind of fun, but watch this. If we take that entire project and do control D, and nudge it over. I want to find the blue one, so I'm on a red one, so I'm just going to hide it. That makes it easier to select the blue one. And I want to make the blue one four high. So now it is a cube, four by four by four. I'm going to do show all to bring back my other pieces. I'm going to nudge this cube away, four clicks real quick. And what would I have to do to make these blocks into this cube? Well, hopefully you can see, it is control D, and then I'm gonna use control up arrow to go up two clicks. And friends, you have just solved the cube root of a size four cube. It is four plus four, which is eight little cubic blocks. But here's the math problem. It is two times two times two the cube root of 8. So now your challenge is, can you solve the cube root of 16 by also solving the square root of 16 and maybe 25 and just how far can you go and how can you use duplicate to make the project go fast. All right, friends, so I hope you found out just how slick Tinkercad can be for modeling math and getting concepts that are kind of difficult to actually make sense. Friends, if you solve a problem that is fantastic, don't forget you can use the send to and you can invite me to check it out by generating a link and you can send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HLModTech on all of those. You can also send me an email at HLModTech at gmail or you can visit my website and you can paste it into the messaging system and of course friends if you found the video useful please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching 
Have a great day.